Hi there. Welcome to the solution of the first puzzle in the playlist Puzzle Corner on the Genesis YouTube channel. And today we will discuss the solution to the puzzle by Ramanujan that was posted in the previous video. The link to that video is in the screen link on the top. The question that was posed was if x equals square root of 1 plus 2 times square root of 1 plus 3 times square root of 1 and you see that huge expression on the screen basically if x equals that find x. I suggest that you take up a pen and paper and follow through with the video. Feel free to pause the video wherever you need to and work out the results on paper. To find an answer to the puzzle, we start with a fairly well known result n plus 1 whole square is equal to n square plus 2n plus 1. Now we take n common from the first two terms and take a square root. This gives us n plus 1 equals square root of n into n plus 2 plus 1. Now let us successively put n equals 2, 3, 4, 5 in this equation. This generates four equations as shown. If required, pause the video and work this out. Pushing forward, if we take the second equation and substitute the 4 from here into the first one, we get an equation like this. Similarly, if we take 5 from the third expression and substitute it here, we generate a further level of nesting. Let us do one more step. We now generate a sequence of 4 square roots. It is easy to see that we can expand 7 in a very similar way and in fact, not only that, we can continue this expansion indefinitely. I strongly suggest you to pause the video and try to do this on your own. Now if you keep doing it, we will create an infinite series on the right hand side which exactly matches with what was asked in the puzzle and therefore x equals 3. The argument presented here is a modified version of Ramanujan's own demonstration of the result. At this point, I must add a word of caution. Strictly speaking, this does not constitute a proof. Why you ask? Well, for starters, we have just created a sum having infinite terms. Isn't it counterintuitive that when we add an infinite number of terms, we still get a finite sum? If you keep adding things to some things, shouldn't the value keep on increasing without bound? Well, not necessarily. There are many sums having an infinite number of terms that give us a finite sum. Whenever this happens, that is whenever we get a finite sum, mathematicians say that the series converges. Come back to the right hand side of the Ramanujan's puzzle. We see that there is a sum of infinite numbers but we did not prove that it will converge. We just succeeded in creating a pattern. So strictly speaking, mathematically, what we did was not a proof. If you are interested in exploring more about the convergence of Ramanujan's nested square roots, I have included some links in the description. This however brings out another aspect of Ramanujan's work. If you see this result and also quite a large portion of his work, it almost seems like he is playing with the numbers and telling us, hey, see, this is a neat result and there is another one and there is another. This in fact both amazed and frustrated his mentor G.H. Hardy in equal measure. If this video made you interested in Ramanujan's work and inspired you to find more about it, my work is done. There is a lot of material on the internet on Ramanujan's life and his work that you can go through. Many thanks to the people who responded to the puzzle in the comments. The first few are Santosh TP, Dinesh, Game Soul, Teasing Taser, Janadan Sir, Abhinav Kumar Varma. Finally, a huge shout out to all our subscribers and the awesome feedback and appreciation for the Genesis channel. If you like our work, subscribe to the channel and push the bell icon for future notifications. Till the next video, stay safe and stay healthy you all.